Okay, this is going to be our second video on plasma cam. This time, what we're going to do is we're going to pull a, an image into plasma cam. It's going to be a clip art image. And we just, I just typed in silhouette clip art, and all of these images will come up. The clip arts are better, or silhouettes, I should say, are better to import because you only have two colors. You have a black image and a white image. And so I'm going to scroll down and find something that we can import. We can import any of these. Some are some come in a little easier than others. Um, let's see here. What can I pull up? I think I'll pull this cat up. So if I click on the cat and click one more time. I'm going to right mouse and save that picture and I'm just going to shorten it up and call it cat and notice where I'm saving it. I'm saving it to my desktop and I'm just going to hit save so I won't uh, in case if I have to come back to it I'm just going to minimize that here's our icon here cat JPT, JPG JPEG image so if I double click that I'm going to go to open paint and I'm going to save this save as and under save as type I'm going to a little drop down arrow and I'm going to save it to the lowest color bitmap possible which is a 16 color now when I hit save it gives me this uh, warning here it says the color quantity might be reduced and I know that and that's what I want anyway so I'm going to click OK Minimize that, minimize this. Here, now we have two icons. One is a JPEG image and one is a bitmap image. The bitmap image is the one I'm going to use. So if I go to Plasma Cam, yes to that. Now, I cannot open it because it's not a Plasma Cam file. So if I go to File and I'm going to import it, now this is important uh, files of type it automatically came up with bitmap files if it had been something else like uh, AutoCAD or Plasma Cam or whatever then I would need to change that so I'm gonna leave it on bitmap because that's what I wanted and now I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna find cat here it is cat.bmp click open now right here it says select all background colors well there's only one background color and that's white so I'm gonna click that out in space Notice that the little button popped out. Let me know that that's what I'm uh, choosing. And I'm going to say next. Next again. And next one more time. Now, everything's green, but to make sure that everything's connected, if I click out in space somewhere, it turns purple. Now, if it were not purple, that means that I'm broken somewhere, and I would need to fix that broken line. If I hit F5 on the keyboard, Notice how small it is. If I put a window around it, it turns it green. If I hit M for move, or I could go up here and uh, under edit and click on move, but I like using hotkeys. So if you hit M for move, click and hold it. Your mouse, left mouse click and hold it. Bring it out toward the middle of the screen somewhere. Now, I'm going to scale this part, so if I hit S for scale, and I click one time, release it, and click one more time, I can rubber band it in and out to a given size. Now, I can either look in the bottom right here where it says new point of reference or type new length. If I know that I want that part, that cat, to be, uh, let's say, to fit on a 4-inch block, I can type in 3.5 and hit enter and now that cat is that size if I hit F4 F4 what that's going to do for me is going to bring everything into view inside my screen um, we have a couple little broken places right here that needs to be fixed so if I hit F1 which will zoom into a certain section you notice I have a little bit of broken lines here. So if I hit B for break, click there, and click here. 
right mouse gets me out of that option, click out in space somewhere, and it turns it white. That means we're broken. Now if I click this center section and I hit delete, that goes away, and I can hit U for bulge, or until you get used to learning what all your hotkeys are, you can use the um, edit keys, or in this case would be under the draw, B, um, U for bulge. And what bulge does is, when I click here and I go all the way over to this point, it keeps me from being in a perfectly straight line. I want more of a curvature to this part. I click one time and hit K for con for link segments and there it connected it and straightened its back up a little bit. I could continue working on it where the tail is a little messed up here. I just go through the same process. F2 gives, backs me up. F1 zooms in again on that foot. I can tell that's a little broken and needs to be repaired, but you get the idea from where I did the back. Uh, here's between uh, the two back legs. But anyway, that's pretty much it for that. Like I said, I can zoom in or, or highlight it, turn it green, hit S for scale, and I can kind of rubber band it out to a size if I wanted to. Let's say if I wanted to go ahead and put it inside of a 4x4 four four block. If I draw a rectangle, S for scale, just like in our last video, and let's go ahead and get the horizontal direction first. 4.0, enter. F1 zooms into that portion. Um, H for height. Notice the only thing that moves is the vertical direction or our, our Y coordinates. Type in 4.0 with that one. F2, now if I zoom in on the cat, S for scale, shrink the kitty down a little bit, M for move, and hit F3, actually F4, F3 just zoomed in on what was highlighted, F4 zooms in on everything that's drawn on the screen. I could also go ahead and get him a little bigger now if I needed to, you know. Takes a little bit of playing. All right, now that we have that, I have another option that I can show you, but I'm going to show it to you again in another video. But right now, I would have to save this. Go to File, Save As. Notice that we're saving it as a Plasma Cam file. I'm going to call it uh, Kitty because I already have one named Cat, so I don't want to get confused. And hit Save. Notice at the top now it says Plasma Cam C uh, user. Here's the room J701. It's on my desktop and it's called kitty.pcm. Now, in order to get this to turn into a DXF file where I could take it to a laser or a CNC machine or whatever, I would simply go to File, Export. Now, look where it's exporting as Save as Type AutoCAD DXF and it automatically names it kitty.dxf, save, minimize, and right here we have the DXF file. Here's our PCM file, what we just created, and we can take this now and take it to Mastercam, EdgeCam, uh, a laser, or whatever we want to do to either burn it, cut it, engrave it, what have you. All right, that does it for this second section. And that's it. Thanks for watching.